So getting your helmet to fit is probably one of the hardest things to do when 3D printing your own helmet. But today, I'm going to help you out with that with the use of AI. Now hold on, stick with me a minute. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to scan your own head with the use of Magiscan 3D scanning app. Outcome of today's video is hopefully get a perfectly scanned model of your head. That way you can import it to whatever slicer app you're using and then scale your helmet to fit your head as well as other features too, like scanning everyday objects and then making an STL so you can print them out. So first, let's talk a little bit about the app, Magic Scan 3D. Now they're the sponsor of today's video. Now they have offered to give me full access to this app so I can give my opinion on it and see if it works for my community. Now, like I say in all my sponsor videos, all opinions are my own. So just so I don't come off bias, I would recommend you looking at other reviews of this app. That way you can get an opinion for yourself. So how does this Magic Scan app work? So the app uses the camera on your phone to scan and make a 3D model of your head. It can capture real world objects and turn them into a 3D STL file, basically. So the free version of the app gives you three free scans. If you upgrade to the premium, you'll get unlimited scans. So if we go head over to the Magic Scan app, once we open up the app, if we look at the UI, it looks pretty simple. We have a scan feature where it, you can select your mode. So you have an automatic mode, camera mode, go down to special scanning, which it says Minecraft. So Minecraft, you can scan the object and export it to Minecraft for a gaming twist. And room plan, which says it's in beta, you can create schematic room plans for measuring objects with ease. So I guess if you want to see if a TV fits in your room or a couch, I can really see this if you're trying to remodel your house to use this app. So what we're going to try first, because I am a beginner and it says scan the object following the prompts, the easiest way for beginners, which is me. So that's what we're going to do first is automatic. Seems pretty easy actually. So what we're going to do is just going to say, got it. So let's go ahead and get an object. That way we can go ahead and scan it. Okay. So I brought in a couple of objects. My first one being my R2-D2 mug. They use the mug, I might as well use a mug too. And then the second being a resin printed Batman bust. So I think I wanna go with the R2-D2 mug first. says I have all 45 zones and now we wait. Okay, so the process didn't take that long to scan it and right now I have the actual scanned model and it came out quite well. It has a lot of the details that are in it and it and come to think of it, it came out really good. One of the things that's funny though is because it didn't scan inside the cup or on the bottom of the cup, it just made up what it thought it was. I mean, that's probably the use of the AI. But the actual scan, like, the actual scan came out quite well. Processing takes up to about five minutes using the premium speed. Using the free app, I heard it takes a little bit slower. Let's try to do the Batman bus. Okay, so that one actually only took three minutes. Let's go ahead and check it out. Oh, that came out so much better, like a thousand percent better. And the detail on it is incredible. So, wow, that looks really good. All right, now, now it comes to what we all been waiting for, and that is trying to take a 3D scan of my head. That's what's gonna be important when it comes to building a helmet is how accurate of a scan I can get of my head. Based off of these pictures that I've done with the bust and the, the cup, I don't think we're gonna have a problem. I get the back, y'all. Okay, 
Okay, now that it's finished, it actually doesn't look that bad. My head looks a little silly because I didn't get really good scans of my head. But other than that, it looks, it looks pretty good. I need to get somebody to take the scan for my head for me. That way, I can actually get a really good accurate scan for you guys. And then we can try to scale up the helmets. But until then, let's get a, um, let's export my mug, my R2D2 mug, and let's see if we can get it printed out. So to do that, all we have to do is click on the picture of the R2D2 model, head over to export, scroll all the way down till we get to STL for 3D printing. Then we click on the upload button. And then we can choose where we want to upload it to, which is my OneDrive. And then we're going to upload it to my pictures. That's just somewhere where I can put it and I can find it real easy. So now that we got it uploaded, let's go ahead and get this to the slicer and then we're going to print it out. What's up guys? So I just finished scanning both of my scans and now I'm going to import them into Mesh Mixer. This app allows me to see exactly what I am about to print, scale it to the size I need, and basically make it able to, I can import it into Kira Slicer, which is my slicer of choice. That way I can print it out on my printer. And there it is basically, it looks pretty good. Okay, and so now I wanna import my, my head. So we're gonna to go to model one. Now this was the exact copy of my head. Now I have another, 3D scan of my head that I want to match it next to. And this one I used with a different app. So this says scale up. The messages that append file are much larger than the rest of the current scene. Would you like Mesh Mixer to automatically repair this? I'm going to say no, and I'm going to show you a reason why. So if we take a look at this head over here, it is much bigger than the head we have here. That's going to be a problem because when I import it over, the scale was a lot, lot smaller than my actual head. So let's take this and let's rearrange it where it looks proper. Okay, guys. <laughs> so on the right hand side, we have a picture of my head that I've used another scanning app. And you can see how bad the app came out, but I was able to use this to scale most of my helmets, believe it or not. I just had to ignore this part of my left side of my ear and picture there's a top of my head on it. Now, if we go to my other one, this is my this is my head right here. But I figured out a way to get my head to the right scale size. One way that you can do this is again, measure from this side of your head to this side of your head and use those same stats and use the measuring tool on Mesh Mixer to get it to the right size. But luckily I have another idea. So my other idea is to import my original head scan first. And then remember it said, do you want to scale up? So I'm going to just use a second scan from Magic Scan 3D as a second one. And it's going to upscale it to the proper size. We'll see if this works. So now that we have the original, we're going to go ahead and use the new scan. Now it says the message will open. Do you want to upscale it? And I'm going to say yes this time. So you can already see the other scan right here. And look at that. Now I have the exact same size head next to my other one. Here's what's crazy. On the right hand side, we have my original scan from the other app. On the left, we have the magic scan scan. So you can see the detail that it, that's coming up from the new scan. Magic scan has way more detail. You can see my beard, my nose, my mouth, my eyebrows, my ears. The definition is so much more. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to bring in a helmet so you can see the difference. All right, so here's the red hood helmet. And you can see that the helmet fits really well inside there. So if I were to print this out at 100% scale, you'll see that it fits. And I was able to do this all with the Magic Scan 3D app. First thing we did was use the app to scan the mug. After we scanned the mug, we brought it over to our slicer. From the slicer, we went ahead and printed it on my Elegoo Neptune 3 Plus. I think the print came out really well. Because there's not a lot of detail on the mug, it did not pick up that detail. Well, it actually did. It did pick up a little bit of that detail on the scan. But what I'm really impressed about is the sides, like the legs that it picked up. It picked up the, 
the actual brim of the cup or the mug. Picked up the indentation on the top. Now it didn't go inside. That's because it didn't really scan the top of the, it didn't scan the top or the bottom of the mug. If you use the more advanced features on the scanning app, then you can scan the top and bottom of the mug to get those details that you're looking for. Not gonna lie, it was hard to scan my head by myself. I had to get a little assistance to get the full perfect scan. Maybe it would be a little bit easier if you can use the front facing camera to scan your head as well, or if there's an option where you can use the front or the rear camera. Another issue that I came across, which maybe there's a, a bug fix or maybe it's an operator error. Once I was able to get the file over to the slicer, it seemed to be super, super, super small. So what I had to do was blow it up to a larger size to scale it to the proportion that I need that's my actual head size. Overall, I'm super happy with this app and I can see so many possibilities that you can use just for this app alone. With a few minor tweaks here and there, I can see this app being perfect, especially because this, this app has been the best scanning app that I've used and I've used a few in the past. This app with AI seems to capture the scans almost perfectly. And how do you guys feel about AI? Do you think it has its place, especially in 3D printing and modeling? If you guys liked this video and you enjoyed it or you learned something, be sure to hit that like button, hit subscribe, and also turn on that bell notifications so you know when I have my next upload. If you guys wanna see the list of the five best things that I've found for 3D printing, click on that video right here. As always, have a great rest of your day. God bless y'all. Peace out.